So say hello to a great rate today at bnz.com.nz. Back on track again, and another reasonably strong field out there. We're partway through, in fact, we're over halfway through the round two of the racing today. This is the Intermediate Sprint Cup, just a five lap race here at Manfield. So uh, let's have a quick look out at the uh, results. The Senior Trophy, which has just gone. Hayden Fitzgerald, Rogan Chandler, Ashton Hughes, Durham Wheat, Evel Gibbs, Jeff Crute, SJ Cavill, Ian Reid, Jeff, uh, Ro sorry, Robert Lamas, and Jeff Rogerson. That's the top 10 people. Senior Trophy. Race two, something's different. Oh, this is split up into two classes. I'll tell you what, 107.688 for Rogan Chan is, I think, about 0.3 of a second off the Formula 2 lap record. Uh, Hayden Fitzgerald is quick. He's on a super stock bike, a 106.805. The record for super bikes is, or Formula 2 is in the 105s. But remember, this is a super stock bike. So um, Rogan Chan is so close to a Formula 2 lap record. Um, it's not funny, so uh, hopefully, uh, well, if, if Hayden continues his form and, and uh, Rogan can maybe tag in behind now, I don't know whether they've got new tyres for the rest of the day, but there might be a lap record there for, I don't know whether anyone's listening, you can tell Rogan. And right now, that battle continues between Roger Cathro and Richard Mark and Barrett here. Um, Usually it's been Roger Castro gets out there and uh, shows us uh, the way of the front. And in fact, it's been like that all day. Uh, but right now, with Richard Markham Barrett so close onto his tail, um, things might change. In fact, I look at that first lap there in a 123.74. Both of these guys, no, it won't be. I was going to say both would be on the front row of the good, but I have an idea that Richard Markham Barrett didn't qualify on the front row. I didn't see him in there, and uh, I wasn't looking at the grid position. So uh, his fastest lap, his first lap was a 19.1, a 23 for Roger Castro. This could be a discrepancy because at the end of the day, if uh, Cathro started on the front row, he's only got something like uh, maybe four metres to go to the start-finish line, which is where the timing is. And by the time he drops his clutch, he might be up to whatever, 10, 15 k's an hour maybe, or maybe a little bit longer. Whereas uh, Mark and Barrett, if he started further back of the track, he would have gone through a lot quicker if he's off the third row or whatever. So he would have gone through a lot quicker. I've got the paperwork somewhere, but let's just look on the track and and enjoy what's going out here with the uh, Intermediate uh, Sprint Cup. There, OK, it's gone back to uh, Roger Castro, a 15.551, a 15.848 for Richard Mark and Barrett. So not too much in it there at all, but enough to uh, make it that it's probably going to be Roger Castro's show. But then again, Richard Mark and Barrett there, he's only on a 6.90 single, similar to KTM, he's doing absolutely outstanding. Chasing the man and uh, 20 second jump. Oh, 24, Roger Cathro. Here we go, a jump start for Roger Cathro. So uh, that's going to put him somewhere down the list there. He'll be a bit peeved off of that, but the rules are there for everyone. So thank you, Joan Gibbs, for showing me that. I can't quite see the uh, start finish line to keep an eye on that, but definitely a jump start. So right now, you'll see on the track Roger Cathro in the front, but uh, we'll put him back there into, it's going to put him back into about uh, seventh or eighth place. At the moment, of course, uh, we've got a few laps to go to, uh, to make amends for that. And the blackboard should be displayed there out on the start-finish line. The rule says a blackboard must be displayed. It doesn't tell you it doesn't have to, it has to be displayed to the rider. Uh, it's just another one of those rules that really should be tidied up. Um, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it can be displayed in a you know, cafeteria in Auckland or on Facebook, to be honest, um, if you take it to a court of law. But never mind, that's just my view. And, and I've voiced my opinion, I'm not trying to go anti anyone, I'm just, just, just saying that the rule is that a blackboard must be displayed. Um, there was some conjecture at one new after jumpstart dramas that had to be displayed in within five laps. It definitely isn't the case. Um, it definitely doesn't say five laps. I might have said it in the old days. But uh, anyway, let's look out to what's happening on the track. And uh, this battle is still quite tight out the front. I don't know whether Richard Markham Barrett or indeed Roger Cathro would have seen anything displayed to them. I couldn't see whether it was or not. I'm not trying to say it wasn't, but uh, either or, the battle is relatively tight out the front. It's 0.9 of a second separating the two. In fact, in the last lap there, we saw them circulating within 20 thousandths of a second. How many times have I mentioned the word thousandths of a second? Um, not hundreds, I've mentioned that a few times, but that's yeah, it is two hundredth of a second. So that's incredible how close they are in terms of lap times. On the track, there's about a second separating, nine, three, five thousandths of a second. And that is probably going to hold 
around this lap as they're looking out to the white flag for this five lap race. So, uh, the uh, where are we going? Intermediate trophy out there on the track is brought to you by CTAS Text Web Systems. Google CTAS, you've probably all done that to uh, chase up the live timing system and that sort of thing, but uh, it's time you learned something more about their products they offer. Text to Web Systems, uh, one of the things Grant's done previously if you wanted it was. Uh, at uh, something like the New Zealand Superbike Championship, or indeed this meeting, if you want to know when your particular race you're following comes up, that's what the man does. He can program it in, so every time the race is coming up, you'll get a text, so you don't have to waste your time or spend your time watching, I wouldn't say waste it, spend your time watching other classes during the day. So that's one of the uh, services that Grant Collingwood uh, operates, uh, and certainly this is more of a hobby. Yes, yes, he does get a little bit of money for it, but I know what it costs to travel, um, I'll tell you what, you'll get no one else travelling anywhere near as far as Grant does and spending the time setting up his gear to come down from Hamilton to uh, film a winter series on the money that they give him for that. And that's, that, that's, that's his choice, you know. It's all our choice, but it's certainly great to have him come along over the last few years and share his motorcycling fun and bring to it a different, uh, different set of uh, ideas and a different uh, way of watching the motorcycle race. It's really been good and uh, great company and long might live. And I do understand that he's doing rugby league in Auckland now and um, he's taken that away or it's been given to him through the CTAS uh, filming system um, away from the Maori TV so uh, wow he's just moving up in the world hopefully he can stick around motorcycles long enough for us to enjoy it and doesn't go off with an offer of better money Roger Castro took the win Richard Mark and Barry got through there in second spot there with uh, Uriah Rikens taking the third Todd Ackroyd Colin Tillery and Chance Oliver Stevenson there are the top six bikes. Here comes Chris Beams on that beautiful Repsol Honda coloured machine, the uh, 675, uh, the number 17 machine, followed by Ken Jeston um, going through the... In fact, uh, Jacob Stroud has pipped Ken Jeston. That's the top 